It's better to get one more shot of the disc golf course. Let's walk over here, show you how well, I mean, I, this is the first time, you know, in my lifetime that I've been hiking. I mean, we have a disc golf course in Florida, you know, at Baseline Park, but it's not like this. I mean, you know, you're gonna have to hike a while unless there's another way to get here to get to this, uh, this disc golf course. So it's, I mean, to me, we are deep, deep, deep in the woods. There's another basket up here. So, you know, this would be a really cool experience to, to, to hike this far to play Frisbee golf. But anyway, the trail's continuing on this way. Let me get back to the trail. And, uh, but I just thought, man, this is a, we're deep, deep on the mountain to, to have a Frisbee golf course. That's a, Liberty University has everything. If you want a conservative university where you not talk wokeism and critical race theory, I mean, Liberty is a, is, a, is a good university. I mean, huge, beyond belief. I mean, their sports programs are just outstanding. Um, they're really making a name in the collegiate area. And, uh, and you'd be also well-connected. You know, a lot of these students from Liberty University go, uh, go out and are very successful because they don't have that woke ideology. You know, they're, they're conservatives and they'll run the, their business or a business or a company conservatively. And, uh, and you know, they wouldn't like uh, do what Coca-Cola did and, you know, uh, or any of the other woke uh, corporations. They'd be strictly about working for the, um, the stockholders uh, to, to, to bait. And, and I'm sure they'd be very honest about it too. Most of the kids, and I say kids, you know, I mean, they're, they're adults now, but I mean, most of the kids are really honest people, you know. Um, good, good, you know, you've got your good and your bad everywhere. I'm sure that some of them are, are delinquents like I was. Um, not in college, just in high school. But uh, anyway, so the trail too far is moving and the sun has gone behind the clouds. So I have no way to orient myself. I didn't get over to that guy. He, he got away from me and he was on a different trail. So I think I'm still going the wrong direction to, to get back to the sports complex, but... Like I so said, if I see a left-hand turn, I'm going to take it. So if you watch my last uh, video on Liberty Mountain, I don't know when it was, but off in the distance, I'm hearing the construction. Now, they were expanding. I don't even remember when I made the video. They were expanding Liberty University in another area, and uh, it was just getting started, and I got a film of them uh the, the construction area i didn't get you know like the actual trucks and everything on the video but i'm hearing it off to my right which tells me i'm getting near uh well probably near Fallwell road i don't know because that was that about right after i passed that construction site because i was on the back of the mountain i ended up uh getting to Fallwell road and that took me took me back i'm seeing uh seeing somebody off in the distance i think they're playing disc guy see him down there Hmm. Tempted to. No way to get over there. Well, we'll just keep going anyway. I'm not tired yet. Oh, here comes somebody. I can ask them. Here we go. So the trail too far came out at Q10, and this is Lake Hideaway Road. Now, I'm pretty sure probably the complex is back this way on the, on this road. So we we're in, we we know exactly where we are now. Now you see here's looks this looks like a trail. That's what I'm telling you, you could hike around, but I want to show you Lake Hideaway. So we're going to hike down this road in the wrong direction because I'm, I'm still feeling pretty good and, uh, and show you the Lake Hideaway complex. So now I see why the, this course was right here because we're at Lake Hideaway and there's another trail you could do, lasso. And uh, we're coming up if you went this way. Let's see what this is. Well, that's the lake trail. I think that just goes right around the lake. We'll take that coming back, but I'm just gonna stay on the hideaway road here so, so I can get over. I'm, actually, I'm hoping I can find a water fountain. I could use some water right now. I didn't, didn't bring any because it's such a nice day. I didn't think I'd be sweating much, but you know, when you've been hiking for hours, a uh, drink of water wouldn't be too bad. So let's, uh, let's see, just keep on going. Now, I, I have no idea how long a hike it's going to be on Hideaway Road to get all the way back to the, um, the sports complex, but, uh, you know, only one way to find out. I guess we'll be hiking it, because I, I want to go back and see where we went today, and, uh, you know, and then maybe plan another hike here uh, later, later in the week, maybe Tuesday. Um, so, you know, see here, you know, see this is, uh, this is the creek running across the the way, but they built you a nice little bridge to the left here. Let's keep going. 
So this must be a one massive disc golf course because I've been walking quite some time and I'm still seeing things and fortunes of the, the golf course. Now maybe that's maybe the golf course has like 36 holes or 48 holes or something like that. I don't know. But I bet uh, it sure would be if you were, we were in college. Sure would be fun to come here and, and do it. There comes the wind kicking up. Okay, we're getting next to the sports complex. So we'll get some video there in just a second. So I'm at Hideaway. I, you know, these are cabins, well, little cabins. I wonder if that's for, I guess that's for the students. Maybe as a student you could reserve it, you know, and then come out here and just stay at Lake Hideaway. But check out the lake. You got a basketball court right there. You got that structure right there. I think that, well, I want to say that's supposed to be a zip line, but I don't know. It just goes over to that, the pole right there. I don't, I, I, I'd have to walk up the stairs and see what I see. I don't think it'd be just an observation tower. Could be, I guess, I don't know. But I know there is a zip line here. Now, if you see this structure down here, I think that's the zip line that's probably it's been taken down because Hideaway Lake is closed right now because we are still in the winter time. Uh, and then you see the picnic shelter there. Boy, during the summertime, this place rocks, man. I mean, there'll be just students galore here. Uh, we'll get up on top of the tower and get a view from that. But I'm going to go get, see if I can find some water first. All right. So I just wanted to get an up close. Can you imagine being a student here? Coming out here, playing sand volleyball, you know, probably your picnic supplies are on the bench over here along with your water bottle. You got your basketball court here so you can come and just shoot some hoops, you know, but uh, while well, the tower's closed, I see that, no trespassing. So I can't climb up on it. Bummer. I wanted to see that. I'm going to try to find out. I'll ask somebody about these cabins if they are indeed for just for the students. Oh, good. We got a bathroom. So the door was open. I thought I'd just come in here. I have never seen a college with ski ball before. I don't know if this thing's plugged in or you have to buy tickets somewhere. That's pretty cool. And then, of course, they got a pool table in here. So I'm just at Lake Hideaway still. Couple chairs, you got your foosball table. Wonder if you have to pay money to play this thing. I'm trying to see if there's a ball. Yeah, there's a ball right here. Yeah, you could just come in here right now and play. I'll be damned. Okay, and there's another pool table. And let's, uh, let's go up into the other area here. Let's check this out. Let's see what's, what's up the stairs. Man, this would be a great place to come and study, wouldn't it? Nobody here. I mean, you know, especially on a cold wintry day, maybe you could fire up that fireplace. That'd be cool. Put your laptop right there on that table. Yeah, this would be, and there's a picture of a bunch of people around the fire pit here. Anyway, there's a safe over here. Lots of air conditioners. So imagine there in the summertime, it's a nice cool place to visit. So just wanted to see what was in this room, nothing here. All right, let's, let's get the, uh, the front porch. I'm gonna get a, get that on the video, and then I'll get a close up of the lake, and uh, and then it's just a hike back down Hideaway Road. So, um, but at least you got to see. I mean, this would be cool. I mean, I hell if I if I was a kid here at Liberty University and the foosball tables, at least that's open. I mean, I don't know if you're supposed to, but I'd come here and play some foosball just to get away from everything, bring a couple friends. You know, hey, look at here. They even got the uh, cornhole right here. So that's cool. And uh, this is a picture of the lake. But well, let's go find out if the students can use those cabins. I just want to get this from a distance because I don't want to face on the video. Isn't that cool? Two hammock, call it hammock heaven. Look at that. I bet there's hammocks that go all the way. You know, there's just two there right now. Maybe you have to check them out probably. So let's, let's go around to the front port. Here's some more outdoor tables. There's another view of the lake. Oh, I forgot about the three crosses over here. That's pretty cool. We'll get that on the video. Let's walk over there. So this is the back of the uh, student center here at Hideaway. Check him out. He's got his laptop out, doing a little outdoor study, and that's what I'd be doing. So let's uh, let's go over here. I can see the uh, the map. I'm going to see where we hiked. Let's just take take a look at it, and maybe we can take a different way back rather than just taking Hideaway Ho Road. But here's the um, here's the picture of uh, of this. There's Hammock Heaven. This is where we are right here. And uh, I don't know what the outfitter is. And uh, 
Well, it's a challenge course. I, that might be, I guess that's probably the Frisbee Golf Classrooms Student Center for very, Oh, yeah, that is a zip line. See it right here by the basketball court? So that's pretty cool. And then they've got this huge slide right here in the summertime. Oh, man, I tell you. And there's the three crosses, and that's where we're going next. We're going to get that on the... On the uh, I wonder how campsites here too. Look at that. Damn, I wonder if that's just students who can camp. I wouldn't mind been if I didn't bring my camping gear. Dang, gun it. But that'd be cool as a student just come over here and do some camping. All right, let's go get the, the trail map. As I approach the trail map, here we got a guy down here fishing off of the little dock there. And then you got your kayaks, uh, all available to the students. Boat rides, boat rules, excuse me. So let's go over here to the Liberty Mountain Trail System. And this is what I was talking about. Wouldn't it be nice if they could put a trail map somewhere out on the trails? But let's see what we did. What were we on? I'll know it when I see it. It was on uh, there's Lake Hideaway Road. There's Spirit. Remember, I saw Spirit. Uh, there's a lake trail. Where in the hell were we? <laughs> Try, trying to find that trail that we were on. Well, I found spirit here. It's trail too far. So we came around all the way to here all the way up to To Hideaway Road Or they call it Falwell Road right here Lake Hideaway, Hideaway Lake and that's where we are so if we take uh, Well, we're coming out of here. We'll take Dirty Ridge and go back that way Because I if, if I get back in here, you know, it's gonna be a while getting back to the complex So we're just gonna take Dirty Ridge going back instead of taking Falwell Road all right, then that should, so right here, you are here. So we're gonna go over to the three crosses and then I'll probably get on this Raptor. I've, been, I've done a Raptor run and Raptor run's gonna connect us to Dirty Ridge. So let's do that. Just wanted to get a view of the three crosses from across the lake here. Isn't that beautiful? And uh, some sort of uh, structure up here. Uh, that, uh, that's right, the campsites I think are over here. I, I've, I've been here before, it's been a while. But uh, I just wanted to give you a far away look. We'll get one more shot up close in a, in a bit. So I got so excited walking around, I forgot to avail myself of the bathroom here. But looky here. Now it does need modernization and I'm surprised they're still using paper towels. I would put a blower there. And uh, these are not, those are not modern toilets. They do need to change that. They'd save the college some money. But look at this. Man, you could come here. Let's see if the showers are on. Hell yeah, yeah, they're on. I don't know if the water will get warm or not, but uh, but this would be cool. Come here and get a shower. You know, after a long day of hiking, or play it in the sand or whatever. But anyway, I just want to show you the bathroom. It's got a nice heater right here, so imagine even during the winter. And then, like stood as you can see, the bathrooms are open. So I didn't get this on the video. That's why I said it'd be insane to be here at Liberty University. Look at this. When, you know, in the summertime, that's a zip line going down into the water. That'd be fun as hell. Hell, I'd do that even as an old man. I bet that'd be fun. But anyway, I'm getting back to the three crosses. That'll be the next clip. And look, this is also, I think that's a bike locking area. So they provide that for you so you don't have to ride around with the lock on your bike all the time. So that's cool. I'm glad they got that. Oh, and then here is a trail. Looks like there's a trail map. Maybe... Maybe I should get one of those and plan my plan my map, plan my uh, trails next time. Let's get one of these. I just hate taking them. You know what I'll I'll do is I'll put it in. We'll just use it for the day, and then I'll put it in the, at the, on the other side when we get back to the uh, sports complex. That way I'm not taking a map home because who knows whether I'll ever be back here ever again. You know, it depends on when I can get home to Florida. So let's go get the three crosses. So I told you I was here in the construction. So Liberty University is up to something. They're building something huge over here. Who knows what that's going to be? I don't think I'd be able to find anybody. And then these, I'll try not to get any faces, but there's the three crosses up close. And there's a, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Maybe, I don't know. But I'm going to walk up. There's a structure up here. So let's go see what that is real quick. Wanted to get this on the video, guy in a hammock over here, enjoying himself. But this is the camping area. That's what I was seeing. And I'm gonna guess uh, this structure that I was seeing is either a picnic area or maybe a, well, I doubt it's a bathroom because you got one just on the other side of the lake with showers and everything. 
But this is a, I mean, a wet school has its own lake, you know, zip lines, you know, all kinds of stuff. And this is just a hide, a lake hideaway. Boy, if you get onto the campus, there's all kinds of stuff. But look at here, that's a pretty decent campground. You're not right on top of the next person. It's not excuse, hugely like a national forest campground, but I'd stay here, you know, and there's a limited number of sites. I think I only see eight sites and I'm pretty sure, yeah, see that's just a picnic pavilion. Let's walk over and get a look at it.